G'day, this is Mark Waite, and welcome back to Mark My Words. This is step seven of my 10 bold steps in overcoming a setback. Find a mentor. You know, when you're going through a, a rough time and you're in the thick of it, you really need uh, as much support as you can get. And I was trying to do it all myself. I had, like some guys do, uh, a fair bit of pride. And I didn't want others to understand the gravity of my setback. I thought my problems are my problems. Um, I didn't want anyone else to really know uh, where I was at and the, and the condition that I was in and the, um, and the gravity of the, uh, this new position I'd found myself in. I was incredibly stressed. I was incredibly um, emotionally um, drained. And it was just a tough time. And I was having to make uh, these decisions of um, my next steps in, in rebuilding and setting up my life for the future um, with the chaos of my setback screaming at me all the time. And uh, having to make these decisions by myself was just impossible. So I came to a conclusion that I needed to get help and I needed to find someone who would at least listen to where I was at in my situation. And, and hopefully I could find someone who could give me a bit of a steer on, um, on what to do next in terms of recovering. And thankfully, I met a guy, uh, and I'll get into the story later on, but I met a guy who I ended up becoming really good friends with, and I hadn't known him very long. In fact, I met him in the midst of my setback. And once the setback had happened, I'd met him a short time after. And I kind of think today he was a bit of a godsend, actually. But uh, he um, was a guy who I really liked. I, he was successful in business. He taught. He told me a little about his story, his background. I've met his family. And uh, he was obviously uh, had done very well for himself in, in not just financially and in business, but also in just in his mindset. He had a heap of energy. He made me laugh. He had some insight and, and, and wisdom around things to, uh, to look for and to, uh, and to navigate through when overcoming setbacks because he'd been through quite a few himself in business and in other areas of life. So he became someone who I started to inquire of and ask questions and he was really generous in his, um, in his, in his response and his, his answering of these questions and he'd give, him, give me some tips. And as I started to trust him more, I started to share more of my own situation with him. And we got to know each other out of uh, him discovering a lot about my crap uh, and me discovering a lot about his success. And uh, it was done over a couple of drinks uh, more often than not. But it was just fantastic for me. I finally found someone who I uh, who showed me empathy. Um, and he was, wasn't a sympathizer, um, but he showed me empathy. And there's a big difference between sympathy and empathy, which I won't get into now. But someone who actually understood my situation and then was able to see through the situation onto a solution in terms of the next steps I would take to to start to rebuild. And he was a godsend. So my encouragement to you is to don't go it alone. When you're in the midst of a, a, a major life setback, you want to make sure that you've got at least one person in your corner who understands you, you trust a little bit, and that can say, take some time. And you may know that person already, you may not. But I think you know if you're expecting that person to turn up in your life, they will. Uh, your expectations, um, you know, we don't always get what we want, but we generally get what we expect. So um, don't go it alone. You know, isolation causes you to make decisions with in an incredibly difficult situation, incredibly stressed environment. So don't be, a, don't be an island. Try and find someone who you, you like, you trust, and who's been through uh, a similar situation or has overcome some setbacks in their own life because they will understand more about what you're going through than someone who hasn't. So that's step seven. Find a mentor. Find someone who can help you. Don't be an island. Up next is step eight. Look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.